Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome back to Dank Dungeons. You can watch this show on YouTube or NCTV. I'm assuming you're doing one of those things right now. I'm Dan, your Dank Master, as always. Let's get started, shall we? How's everyone doing? Everybody's doing good. Doing great. <laughs> yeah. right. we, we all have different answers, but it'll uh, work itself out. Since this is only the second episode, why don't we do very brief, like, just say the name of your character and what your your basic your class is, what you do in this uh, fantasy world mm -hmm. that you're, you're exploring. Mm -hmm. Start with you, my good friend. I am Dula Wulafula. I'm a pyromancer, <laughs> but I spend most of my time working at the 7-Eleven down the street. I'm, <laughs> I'm never going to remember your character's name. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I'm Todd. I'm an elven ranger. I rang. <laughs> uh, I'm Batania. I'm a human wizard. I don't know how I got here. <laughs> I feel like I met these two by mistake. It's an odd situation you found <laughs> yourselves in. I think uh, so. Last episode, All meetings are um, by mistake. <laughs> on, your, on your quest uh. to find the relic of uh, Wick. The party god. There's a few relics. Right? There's a few relics, yeah. but there's a particular relic that you've heard is in this uh, this valley, mm -hmm. this valley of uh, Jurassic creatures of some kind, none of whom you've really encountered yet. I guess you encountered that big weird leg thing, but mm. but you know you'll get there. Man, um, you delved into the uh, base of a ziggurat that's, full of mysterious mysteries and that's encountered several uh, <laughs> mummies of dinosaur-headed people. Um, which you dispatched with some ease after no. the ranger had his sword stolen no. from by them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but other than that, you know, that you're doing all right. You're a little battered, you're a little bruised, but we can get right back into it. Um, so what say, from the, the suggestion of the Dank Master, we start this, uh, this adventure session with a nice nap. Ooh. <laughs> to oh, help you guys great. recover a little bit. That sounds awesome. Sounds after great. After that, uh, sure. that battle. How does that work? We just so the way it uh, works is you, you make minutes. camp. You make camp in this spooky, mummy-filled dungeon. Uh, can we yeah. leave the room that has all the dead mummies? They might be the dead mummies on fire. You may leave the room full of flaming dead mummies. <laughs> the that mummies is, are currently on that fire. That is absolutely Let's go action. back to the room with all of the sarcophagi. Back into the hallway, and like you know, the entrance well, you there. You can totally sleep in a sarcophagus. That there, is creepy. It anyway. Sounds like know. a terrible idea, but you're welcome <laughs> to do <laughs> it. No, we, we've been killing it with great ideas so far. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, remember that time Bettany opened that mummy sarcophagus and we got attacked by a Yeah, mummies? that was real remember dumb of me. Remember when we dude those mummies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I remember that time 100% nice successfully, too. So. Yeah. Remember the time you so, failed at scooping yeah. yeah. so, so, so Are you guys seriously we going? When you guys make camp, this is the way this works. Um... If you have the experience points required, um, which, as I forgot to do last session, um, we gave those experience points uh, between sessions. Uh, Lance, you have six. Um, Lizzie, you have four. Awesome. And Davis, you have three. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, the way it works is once you hit seven um, and you guys rest, you can level up your character and gain a new ability. Um, and then it will require eight and then nine, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the way for people watching that experience works, anytime they fail a roll, they get some experience points. And then I will also award them at the end of uh, games if important things have happened. If you've defeated a powerful enemy, if you've found a very important treasure, or advanced the story in a very significant way. So, look forward to it. You're giving me a real, you're giving me a real stare there. Do a little fool. Oh, I think I was also <laughs> kind of giving you a stare. those lizard eyes <laughs> staring back at me. You know, this, is, this is Davis. You know. <laughs> I do have um, warm eyes. Do mm. you? Um, so when you rest, like um, none of you have the experience points to level up at the moment, eye. but um, you get a few under uninterrupted hours of sleep, and you get to heal damage equal to half of your maximum hit points. I, bl I thought you might have to use rations for that, but apparently you do not. Nice. There is some other way of healing with rations. Yeah, I'm so. going straight to sleep. Yeah. All right, cool. 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 Straight to sleep. Guys, take a nap. Um. You are not attacked in your sleep, surprisingly enough, which leads you to believe that perhaps this level of the ziggurat is somewhat safe. Ooh. No more zombies. <laughs> Maybe no more mummies. Maybe you've seen all the mummies. Should we, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go back down that other way. All right. So uh, proceeding down the hallway, you had taken a left turn, yeah. which mm -hmm. put you into the dead end where you fought all the mummies. Thank you, Batania, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Shortly beyond that, there is a oh. right turn, or you mm. can continue going straight. The Taking hallways look pretty much the same, no matter which direction you're going in. So we go, so we're coming from, if we go straight, then that would be the right turn we would have taken if we came from the sarcophagi. 
This is getting confusing. <laughs> so, we, we took a left ran turn. From the guy. We took a left turn. So now we're coming back left. We so now you, know, left. you took a right turn before that. We took don't, a, yeah, don't worry about it. We're not going to get into the nitty gritty details here. All right, we're yeah, going because we're otherwise we're going to argue for five time. minutes about yeah, which direction you guys are facing. We're we'll going go in the direction we Are you going straight or are you going right? Right. That is the question. That is the dank question I am posing you. We're going straight. Straight? Does everybody else agree? Yeah. I'm pretty sure if we go right, we'll end up with the sarcophagi again. <laughs> or we might hit a cool antechamber with potions and jewels. That sounds really lame. We're and gold straight. stuff. <laughs> I mean, put it to a vote. Vote, straight. raise, show of hands, come on. Todd's the tiebreaker. Come on, Todd. Come on, Todd. Let's go right. <laughs> oh, okay. It's it's decided. Decided. I like the antechamber <laughs> idea. <laughs> if, if we go back, if we end up back at the sarcophagi, I am... <laughs> Well, it, your wolf alive. you just don't open it. Right. Clearing some cobwebs <laughs> from your way <laughs> as you proceed. Mm -hmm. Seeing more sarcophagi lined up on the walls, some in various states of decay, bones hanging out of a few of them, mm -hmm. until you finally reach a chamber <gasps> which holds a pit. The majority of the floor is not there. There's a very little bit walkway around the edges near the walls, but other than that is a big, deep rimmed pit. Is it lit? It's a lit not pit? Lit. So we can't. It is not a lit pit. No, I mean like the walls. Is that what like? Oh, you're using. Uh, you've been using Dual of Fool as fire weapon. I, I thought for uh, oh, right, right. For, uh, so like, I guess I'll try and source. activate it. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on, failed dice. Two d six. Unless any of you have torches, you could also do that. I could cast. I got a four, then. so I failed. You messed up. Yeah. I want you to know. Your hand gets really hot, uh -huh. and you're like, "Ow, <laughs> I messed up." <laughs> is that all that happened? Not gonna kill any teenagers this way. <laughs> okay. I can try to cast. I want you to know. Yes. That. I grabbed my sword. I didn't leave it there. Didn't, okay. Didn't say I just, so. I, I didn't assumed, say so. Okay. I'm I glad you assumed. You did. wrestled it back from the mummy um, last time. No, sure didn't. Oh. <laughs> no, he didn't. That mummy. That mummy had died before he got his. <laughs> right. Back. You grabbed the blade. That yeah, mummy was really like happy yeah, with his new acquisition. <laughs> you hurt yourself trying to get the blade. <laughs> it's not many mummies you see that have swords. Usually they yeah, just kind of. You would think they wouldn't even. <laughs> you would think they wouldn't even know what. They're very ineffective most of the that time. That one was Except very intuitive. The, yeah, the mummy, it got me good. When the mummies did have swords, and it was really cool. Yeah. And Brendan Fraser had a hard time. Friend Didn't we bring up Brendan Fraser last game? Always. I think so. Terrific. Friend and Brazier. Friend and Brazier. I can try to cast Friend light. And right, You're going to try and cast light with magic. <laughs> Go right ahead. Yes. Wait, isn't it a cantrip? Uh, I'll, I'll yeah, it's a cantrip. You don't have to roll for it, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's right. You just do it. You cast light. I did it. You cast some light. The pit's deep. It's probably uh, it's deeper than your light goes. It's got to be at least like Ooh. a pretty pretty hefty drop. I'm more you so probably curious. don't want to jump jump into it. No. Um, your wolf, Todd EP, is uh, growling Ooh. at the pit as though there is something awry. So is, there sa is there any noise or anything? It's very noise? quiet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when there was quiet. Yeah, when there I'm was, peek, I'm gonna peek into the pit. Oh, okay. You're peeking. I'm peeking yeah, in. You're peeking. Are you doing anything? Um, is there? Can we see fully around the pit with her light? Yes. Yeah, it's small. Is one. there, there's like a tiny walkway? Yeah, around just it? around the edge of the, the Is there itself. a door? Mm -hmm. Any other door? No, nope, okay, just we don't. a pit. This, 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 just a pit. this seems like a terrible thing. We should leave. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm super to jump in. Uh, All right, well, you enjoy that, but I recommend you do not. I can cast Detect yeah. Magic and see if it's magic. Oh. Could go ahead and do that. Let's is that do also that. Also, a cantrip. No, that is a spell. Okay. <laughs> uh, that is an eight. An eight. Yes. All righty. Detect magic. Uh, what does it say? What happens on a seven through nine? Yes, it does. Uh, we can draw unwelcome attention. Ooh, uh, disturb the fabric of reality. I love that one. Yeah, it's great. And or okay. I can forget it after this. So it's the same as as, as your other spells for yeah, the most part. So before. what of those things would you like to do? Because I, I believe you are allowed to make that choice. Oh, I think I want to be a jerk and draw unwelcome attention. All right. Unwelcome attention has been drawn. Let's do it. There is a significant presence of magic Ooh. at the bottom of that pit. Not for nothing. You cannot centralize yeah. where it is coming from. Um, but there's, de there's something down there. And it's magic. It's magic. It's very magic. Oh boy. So I'm peeping into the pit. Oh, yeah. Can I see anything at the bottom? You see darkness. I see darkness. The light doesn't You're going to throw your down. big fire sword down there. Um, I yeah. feel like that would definitely <laughs> I mean, draw you attention. You could throw your big fire sword yeah, down Yeah, I, I guess I'll, I'll try and activate my weapon again. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to pull out my bow <laughs> and throw it down into and the have pit. It. 
Okay. Ready. Okay. In case there's some stuff. In case All right. any unwanted attention arrives. <laughs> oh, God. Can't imagine why. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, and uh, mark experience for that fail. I did. That, I, that I had a little okay. tally. tally Just remember that from now on. I failed again. <laughs> All right. So terrific. That's great. Um, <laughs> so would anybody else like to do anything? <laughs> as far as getting down this pit, you still have your rope. Which you used oh, to. I don't know if I want to go down game. there. My, my wolf seems to hate. <laughs> EP's probably not crazy about the idea of being like roped. I think to EP hates this pit. In he also does not like the pit. Yeah, something's in wanna... the pit or the pit itself. Is there anything like what are you guys objects around? I mean, I could, I could, I could hurl an arrow down stuff. there, I'll see if something a, reacts. A Okay. I'm or we really could leave it alone and come back. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it in the pit. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's other stuff. This um, is a little scary for me. Yeah. Jula Wool Fula oh, no. drops a rock down the pit. <laughs> we turned <laughs> our backs for one soon. second. <laughs> as, almost as soon. <laughs> one second. You keep an eye on this one. Oh. It's like a toddler. I do what I want. Almost I'm a as, as soon as it falls out of the range of what? light, you yeah. hear it hit the ground do. below. Oh. It hits a stone floor below. Okay. So the pit is probably only like 30, 35 feet deep. Oh, okay. It's so terrible. But so we walls, can't see down there. The walls do look ragged enough, like the stone is is sticks out enough that you could probably climb down, um, oh. without assistance. But it would be somewhat risky. Oh, got a wolf. Can you can you? So is your like light like a little ball that's giving light, or is it just now light? Let's light? read the description. Uh, an item. You touch glows uh, with arcane light about as bright as a torch. I would assume you just put it on your weapon. She doesn't I have put, a weapon. I have a staff. Yeah. 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 Uh, there's a staff down there. You're not going to use it anyway. Again. And I can control the color of the flame. I'm going to make it orange, but I'm going to remember Wait, that next flame? time. <laughs> uh, yes. So. I, can, can, I can manipulate fire. It gives off no but heat. It's, it's different. Or it's sound like... and requires no fuel. I don't think it's like real fire. It's not no, like it's real fire. fire. It's, like one it's of magic. Those, it's like one of those Christmas log television channels. I'm a wizard. It's not As real. Do of tries. Log burn. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, the Netflix. It's one of those yeah, things. Okay. Yeah. It lasts as long as it's in my presence. I'm going to assume 35 feet down is she still within my presence. Staff down there? Well, are we down there before I'm Are we going? Are we going? Or are we? We, we yeah, just, drop it down there. I'm going we, down there. We had what. we had discussed coming back before you like went. Like for later. Drop, drop it down. Don't don't do anything. But Tanya, do you drop the staff? It'd be really cool for you if you dropped the staff. It would be super cool of me, but I don't think she would. Come on. I kind of like having a Tanya. staff. Well, you don't understand the true meaning of you sacrifice. Guys, uh, yet, all right, you need to drop the staff down there. Excuse me, do a little fool. Dang master speed. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the, that uh, staff down there. I'm the party uh, decided by committee, by majority vote, mm -hmm. that you would take the right turn. Yes. Um, they are now deciding by majority vote <laughs> to come back here later. Uh huh. You should honor that. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's not really <laughs> <laughs> what Dula does. I mean, so are you guys gonna? Are you guys gonna? Yeah, turn you, around? you want to take it? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna turn around. Yeah. Okay, what else is going Dula on? Dula fool, you're welcome to jump into the pit. Do what you would do, man. Doesn't mean we're gonna like it. We're not here to make friends. We're here to find treasure. <laughs> Let's go, EP. Fine. <laughs> I'll follow. Let's bounce. I'll follow. I'll follow you guys. All right. Okay. Now that that's over with, so you uh, leave this hallway, proceed straight, um, and come to a three-way crossroads. Ooh. Would you like to take is this pyramid changing shape? The northerly path, <laughs> the easterly path, or the southerly path? Oh man, easterly? Yeah, that's that's. Can we say left, straight, or right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> right then. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, that sounds fine. Well, the easterly path would be straight if we're on the yeah. westerly path. Yeah. So that's straight. Oh, so then the southerly path. Would be right. Cardinal direction. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll be able to figure out what direction we're going. We're going <laughs> south. <laughs> I can know. Uh, Dula starts walking south. All right. All right. You start right, walking south. Easy enough. You come upon a small chamber at the center of which is a wooden post Ooh. set into the stone floor. Tied to this post by a rope is a goat. Live goat? Oh, Live boy. Goat. That's yeah. mm, 
That's not good. The goat bleats at your approach. That's some unwelcome attention right there. Can we there. see anything else? <laughs> No, it's a goat. Don't so it's just a room, room with a goat? A goat the room has a goat and it yeah. tied to a post? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like some bait right there. <laughs> it sure does. What's the That's straight up like? some bait. It's pretty, you know, nondescript catacomb-like room. Okay. Just four walls. Four walls. Yeah. With dead a passage bodies. in one of them. Yeah. Dead gonna... bodies? Well, it's a catacomb. So there's dead bodies everywhere. It's literally a place that was made to hold dead bodies. <laughs> Is there any sort of noise? It's not like this is a weird place to find dead bodies. You're not shocked to find a corpse in catacombs. Ah, it's a corpse. Ah, it's oh a corpse. My God. Ah, it's a corpse. Jeez. Ah, it's a corpse. <laughs> Who put all these um, guys here? No, boy. <laughs> Why would you do this? All right. I feel like you should put these someplace where you put a lot of other dead Thoughts bodies. Thoughts on the goat? Are we in the room? You're you're uh, you're in the outer entrance. Like oh. you're you're outside the entrance. So okay. You're kind of like okay. see the goat and you pause. I'm kind of like that's see weird. What I can see. The goat begins kind of walking towards you. I thought oh. it was tied up to a. I thought it was tied in the air, so it's like. Oh no, he's on the ground. So he's like, it's, it's like, like a leash. post stuck in the ground. Okay. Yeah, like a leash. I'm gonna set the goat on fire. Don't set the goat on fire, buddy. <laughs> really want to set the Please goat on fire. Please don't set the goat. It's not teenager goat. Yeah, it's an old. It's not a goat. kid. It's an adult goat. He's got the beard and the horns and everything. I think teenager. He's kind of round. You know when goats get old and they kind of yeah. grow kinda horns <laughs> like, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, I'm gonna good old zeppelin shaped goat. How, how, I'm gonna let it keep walking towards us. Okay, it keeps walking, and then gets to the point where his tether won't let him go any further, and kind of okay. goes, Bleh! and then stops. Doesn't seem really, panicked at all, though. He really seems like he wants to get over to you. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's about like four feet away right now. I feel kind of bad for that. I goat. do too. I kind of want to let it go. Let's let the goat free. Yeah. Let's set the goat free. I'm yeah. Walk over. All right. Kind of like ease my way up to it. See how it reacts. See if it's like I'm gonna, watch them I'm gonna kill you. Or okay. <laughs> I'm gonna see if it's like I'm gonna kill you, or if it's like please help. Okay. Using your elfin abilities Great. Mm. and your ranger training. Fantastic. You, you keep the goat feet. calm. Really, really glad that one compliments the other. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. Almost like you it worked out. You keep the goat very way. calm as you approach. Great. And you gently remove the rope from the goat's neck. The goat begins to walk down the hallway in the direction you guys came from. Just calmly, just. Let's follow the goat. Yeah, let's follow that Periodically goat. Periodically just goes and stops and like gnaws Oh, actually, I'm going to check out stuff. the room a little bit, see if there's anything about oh, the room that true. seems noteworthy. Yeah. Is there like a treasure chest <laughs> in this there's goat not, room? There's not much in this room. Okay. All right. Well, Shocking to you, there are no goat droppings in this room. Is that a goat? <laughs> Impossible, you say to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Goats leave droppings everywhere. Yeah. We just did a bad thing. I think we just did a bad thing. <laughs> So the goat. <laughs> We're gonna live with that choice. Yeah, that the was your fault. Is not knowing the moment what the I noticed, I go. That was your fault. That I go. Wasn't my fault. No, it was you not. Guys? <laughs> you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna follow that goat. Follow that goat. I'm following that goat. That goat leads you back to the pit. I'm following. <gasps> oh no! Right. That goat staring down into the pit. Oh no! We'll okay. pick the goat up and walk back. <laughs> Down the hall yeah. and just pick up. He doesn't want to. I'm picking him up. He doesn't want to. I'm picking fight him up. Roll to defy danger strength. It, it has the danger of carrying a goat. <laughs> it, it has the weight of dark Nature. matter for some reason. <laughs> Nature's can't be moved. Killer. Oh, this is terrifying. This is kind of terrifying. Did you beef it? I fail. That goat don't move. <laughs> I'm gonna stare into the goat's eyes. I'm gonna be like, come on, goat. Look, we were friends. Remember me? The goat turns. And stares at you with its great square yeah, pupils. No. Oh, man. Oh. Then it bleats defiantly <laughs> and, be and turns back to the pit. I'm gonna. Well, let's just see what I'm happens here, look guys. Let's go in the eyes. <laughs> no, look God. In the eyes. In let's pain. go a different way. Let's let what this goat do its thing and we'll just come back and check on it later. The goat stares back. We're the worst players. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Hey, I, I, think, uh, I think we should leave this goat. And check out some more stuff. As you were discussing here. your next move, the goat leaps into the pit. Yes, it does. does oh it no! Does it sound like it gets hurt when it hits the ground? You hear no sound. All right, let's get out. Of, let's get out of this area. <laughs> this is fascinating. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually a little bit, a little bit weirded out. I'm really intrigued. Feel uncomfortable. You know what? I throw the staff in the pit. And then you hear Meow! echo from below, from below, from down the pit. You throw your staff in and see the goat calmly waiting on the floor below. What is it looking staring at? at you. Does it look, oh, it's staring at us? Yeah. Oh, God. Um, so we're all leaning over looking at the goat in the pit. Yes. Like it's waiting like, for us to come down? It seems like he wants and to And there's come light down. coming up at us. This is I'm an evil make goat. Make sure there's nothing behind us real fast. Real fast. <laughs> real quick? Yeah, real quick. Nothing behind you. Nothing behind me? I'm going to look up 
Anything above us? A ceiling with dust and stuff. Right. Hey, if you guys go down there, <laughs> seems I like can stay could. here. Seems like we're good. Okay. <laughs> seems like sure could. No. Sure you could, Todd. If you guys want to go down there, I can stay here. Yo, I don't think we should leave anyone <laughs> anywhere alone it's in probably this All right, you guys mimicked Scooby-Doo in the first episode. You don't need to start splitting up now. <laughs> yeah. I feel like splitting the up. The gag has been done. Because this pyramid seems to be well, I'm just saying. Shape. I'm just saying if it gets real dangerous down there. Gets kind of I can still see you. I think we should. I think we should. I'll make, come down if you if you guys decide to. I think we should. We should tie forward. the rope to something. Is there what anything we, to tie the rope to? Is there like a sarcophagus? Like, there's like roots growing through the wall okay. some places, like plant life that you could probably lash it to. It seems because I feel sturdy. like I feel like climbing up the wall is going to be hard. Yeah, yeah, I think we need a way back. Yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, it looks as though the pit kind of opens up at the bottom as well. Yes. Yeah, so, so you don't I'm really saying. have a good hand so yeah, right at the bottom. Let's get a rope down. Let's tie this wolf to me, again. <laughs> Who's yeah. tying the wolf? I'm gonna to you? tie. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I'll tie the wolf I can't to you. tie it to myself. I mean, you can do it if you want to do like the baby carry. Yeah, if somebody thing. wants to like hold the wolf, <laughs> hold him in front of you, and, and like, I'll, I'll do that. Like one of, those, like, one of those. Dads I think I'm gonna do a better <laughs> job. I want to tie the wolf. That's great. I'm gonna do it. Wolfie and me. Does anybody want to help carrier? me? I'll help you. You can help me, but I'm tying the wolf. Yes. <laughs> That's fine. So we decided that was a dexterity, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, roll a dexterity to assist. Uh, do a little roll of four. You're assisting Todd. Eight. Nine. Ooh! I did better um, so I'll give him a, a, his success. We'll give you a plus two on that. Okay, and That's ten. probably how I'm going to do like assistance for, for the most part. Cool. Which puts you at a ten, which yep. means you feel like you got a nice sturdy Great. knot. <laughs> baby. Tied that wolf on. <laughs> uh, this is going to become a regular thing. Like, EP seems content. He's wagging his tail a little oh, bit. Yeah, and you're like, oh, buddy. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's, get, let's get down is there. Is he facing you right. this way or that way? So like, you're looking into his eyes? I'm looking into his eyes. <laughs> so you, in order to do that, we you had to... Because you, you guys only had one length of rope, I believe. Or did you have multiples? Were I think we had multiples, because we decided... I think we... That's right, two we people We said had. that... Mm-hmm. Okay. So the other we one is We decided that the adventuring gear would have right. rope. Right. So the other's enough to get down. Mm-hmm. Um, with the rope, you have very little trouble. Um, you leave it in place. Uh, it gets you all the way down to the bottom. Um, A-OK. No wolf troubles. Great. Um, you untie EP, I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. You untie EP. The goat bleats in approval. Okay, great. And looking around yourselves, you see that the rooms, the hallway proceeds to the west and to the east mm. from your current position. I'm just going to start using uh, those cardinal directions now instead of left and right. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so, um, west. West. I don't think that's the, the choice. goat seems to be waiting to see what you decide. I'm sure that's both directions. Yeah, we're not splitting up. Because I'm terrified. Let's go east. All right. We really wanted to go east earlier. Yeah, let's go east. Let's fulfill our dreams. All right. You go east. You begin walking down the hall. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I pick up my staff. Slowly but surely, the hall begins to get smaller. You find yourselves having to crouch down. The goat is walking with you. This is the goat's hallway. (laughs) It's the goat ziggurat. (laughs) Yeah, let's turn around. Zig goat. I'm right. trying to make it happen. The path Not winds ar- about as you're kind of you're crouching through, and you never have to crawl, but you get to the point where you're all huddled down like this, and finally it opens up into a grand antechamber. Yes! <laughs> you guys called it super hard. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> uh, this mm. antechamber contains a you. large grand sarcophagus. Uh-oh. With a Triceratops head design on the, you know, on the head part of it, I guess. Don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, you all walk up and open that sarcophagus. There are great... Oh, Hold on a second while I describe them. You're so impatient. Okay. Got that fire in your belly, huh? Yeah. 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 You're the worst. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's really bad. It's all puns. It's, it's all the, puns from here on it's out. It's the USD, by the way. Uh, Piece of bratwurst. <laughs> <laughs> um... There are pillars uh, holding up the ceiling. Um, there are various inscriptions all over the walls. Uh, they appear to be like bas reliefs mm-hmm. of moments in history, mm-hmm. if anyone would like to examine those. Yeah. Um, there is uh, treasure littered about the room. Um, gold coins stamped with dinosaur heads mm-hmm. and like footprint symbols, um, gems, weapons, mostly decorative. Um, there's old jugs that looked as though they were used to hold some sort of wine or other drink that has now long fermented, like, vinegarized and dried up and gotten oh. nasty. Um, but yeah, it looks like a very, very 
very upscale tomb. Probably some sort of ruler. What's the goat doing? Some kind. The goat approaches the sarcophagus. Yeah, it does. I'm going to pick up some gold. All right. Grab some gold. All right. Just, keep you just stuff your pockets? Yeah. Stuff your pockets with like 25 coins of gold. Dope. There's tons, but there's too much for you guys to really get all of it. Right, I'll, t- I'll take some. Yeah, just shove some in there. I'm not, I'm not trying to... 25 coins of gold right okay, there. Okay, 25, fine. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's more than I had. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to examine the... The bass reliefs. The bass reliefs. Isn't that a good word? Yeah, it's really excellent. <laughs> I am keeping, I am keeping my, a close eye on the goat. Okay. It's just walking towards it? Yes. I'm going to follow the goat. I'm just going to knock, knock an arrow real quick, just <laughs> make sure. Um, the uh, bass reliefs on one wall mm-hmm. depict um, many dinosaur people bowing down mm-hmm. along the steps of the ziggurat you believe you are, you are underneath right now. Looks familiar. Um, at the top is the Great Burning Flame, mm-hmm. which didn't you put that out? Yes, it did. Great. Um, <laughs> so it's great and burning in the, you know, the, the relief here. Um, and there's a very resplendent looking dinosaur man with a great headdress and a robe throwing a rectangular object of some kind into the flame, which is followed by a great jet of fire erupting out of the top of the ziggurat and hitting a door of some kind, which mm. then opens. You get all that? Yeah. <laughs> the other wall contains depictions of a great ostrich-like bird, some sort of shark creature, and a big weird-looking mammal. So these three large animals in a uh, triangle pattern, like one on top, two on the bottom. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and three orbs surrounding them, which are radiating energy towards them. And then a great sword comes from this, which strikes down a demonic image on the wall. A great dark shape, which is being slain by this power. Mm -hmm. I'm going to open up the sarcophagus. (laughs) Anybody anybody doing anything about that? Mm -hmm. Could you not? Let's just see what Goat does. (laughs) Well, I'm following the Goat. Yeah, but just let him do his thing. Do you he seems to know really more. Far, he seems to know far more about this place than we do. Fine, I'll wait for Let's the let him to get to the sarcophagus. Because him... any damage you can do, uh, he'll be fine. He's gonna be okay. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna do <laughs> far more damage than the goat will. I'll yeah. Give the goat two Let's get, he's gonna get there soon. Let's that's, see what he does when he gets there. That's great. I'm counting right now, down from one okay. twenty. That's great. The goat approaches the sarcophagus. Did you get there before two minutes? <laughs> yeah, he gets there. He gets there. You know, he's slow. He's, he's kind of bloated. Um, he stands in front of it. Nope. He turns to you, and he bleats expectantly. Yeah, I open that sarcophagus. <laughs> because I don't know how, other, how else to make a goat emote. Yeah, I wish <laughs> to I wish say how something he's about... bleeding. <laughs> what if we just don't do anything for a minute and see what he does? He just waits. Oh, man. I'm hoping that's our he wants, he wants that, it's a he difficult wants that goat. goblin open. This, I'm opening it. <laughs> this is a demon goat. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, it's aware. It's enough for me to think a goat's weird. All right. Goats are weird anyway. The lid of the sarcophagus is quite heavy, so, but you managed to pry it from, was, from its resting goat place. What does goat do while he's... Goat stands back. <laughs> and gets right. ready. It's ready. <laughs> goat gonna do? You see him flexing his leg. <laughs> Flexing his legs, oh he starts gosh. pumping iron. I'm like, with, goat, he's getting prepared. Within the sarcophagus, well, the goat doesn't look. He looks a little nervous. Is a, a amazingly ornate mummy, mm-hmm. which bears a striking resemblance to the resplendent figure on the first bas relief. Round his neck is what appears to be a golden rectangular box hanging from a golden chain. Oh, we need Yo, that. Yo, that's the thing we need, though. Yeah, it is, but <laughs> it's not a mummy. I'm going to try and activate my weapon before I grab that thing. Yeah, good thinking. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. Maybe you'll get more I'm gonna, I'm, Hold on. Hold on. Time out. Time out before you do that. I'm going to look at Goat and I'm going to be like, What's gonna, oh, should we take that thing? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of response did you think you were going to get? I thought maybe None I'd get us. some sort of like yes. a shuffle. <laughs> Oh, this is not man. an everyday goat. This is not your average goat. You're okay. You're activating your weapon. I'm activating my weapon. Yeah, not no. doing any sort of. Okay. Because when we take that thing, yeah, you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, I think we've all 
<laughs> had enough bad stuff happen recently. Yeah, right. Everybody's played enough really video games played. to know what's going to okay, happen when okay. you take the thing. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Hey! <laughs> I got an 11. Yes! Great so you job. got your weapon, good. You got your weapon. Yeah. You got the uh, thing that you're supposed to be able to have automatically anyway. It's no longer dangerous. I can throw it and plus one damage. Cool. Those are the three things it's got. Uh, and then I'll try and take the, the rectangular oh, object. Yes. All right. Mm. You Just grasp grab it and run, mm -hmm. please. Uh oh. It's and you try to idea. take it. Mm -hmm. And then you remember that there's a chain around his neck holding it. Yeah, but you rip and it. It's, no, it's like, a, it's like a chain. Yeah, you rip it. You want to try and rip the chain? <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Um, you're welcome to. I'm not. I, I can't even. You're just I kind can't of going. Eh. I can't even be telling him He's about got, this because I'm standing a safe distance have? away. What kind of head does he have? Yes. He has like a like a like a like a, um, you know the the. It's para. Oh, what are they called? The ones with the duck bills and the snooters oh, on their hands. No okay, snooters, I'm just gonna try right? and snooters. pull the chain. One of those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Pull the chain over sword. his head. Like a like snooters a duck sword. Ears. I'm just gonna try and pull the chain over his head. He's got his big snoot thing in the back. It's hard. Wait. He's in a coffin. I'm still gonna try and pull the chain over his head. <laughs> Ring me a dexterity roll. <laughs> we could cast a ritual and get super strength. <laughs> like any time you want. I mean, we could try it. I don't know if it'll work. We could try it. I'm sure this is a place of power. Yeah, let's try it. It's very magical. We didn't do it last time. Let's do it. We'll, we'll try and do it this time. Okay. okay. Do a ritual. All right. All right, all right. We are trying to give Davis super strength. Just Davis? Doola Woola. Just Doola Woola. Full of Wooly Bully. <laughs> what about give goat, give goat strength? Don't give goat strength. Goat could be a demon. Yeah, we don't <laughs> trust. I we... like goat. <laughs> I don't like goat. <laughs> At least somebody's fighting for goat in this party. <laughs> okay. You know who else is a goat? Satan. Yeah, well, Goat brought us here, and he brought us the thing that Amen. we need to get. Goats were goats before Satan was a goat. Okay. You sure about that, or was Satan the original goat? Which you just came made first, the, rest of the a Satan or the goat? <laughs> yeah, leave goat. Come on, man. All right, so we're going to try to give you super strength. Magic power. Magic super strength. <laughs> um, Magical super strength, strengthening my magic. <laughs> You're just yes. going to rip this thing okay. straight off. No. What kind of super strength are you giving him? Super strength that's strong enough to rip a chain off a dinosaur. Cool. Oh, that's what we're doing? <laughs> yeah. Because I can, like, fiddle with it that's for a while. That's very specific. I mean... I feel like we should power my magic in case we got to set some mummies on fire again. I mean, if you want to try to flex for a goat, go for it. Or we could just get this done. <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody here. You can't. You don't have to impress anybody. You want to fight, you wanna fight this big <laughs> I don't mean to like emasculate you, but like if you want to try, go for I'm gonna it. I'm going to try and get the chain up before we do all this. Right, okay. Right. With my dexterity. Fine. Roll it. I got a seven. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's technically a success. It's technically a success. <laughs> what are you doing? You get the chain over there. Mm -hmm. And you're like, yeah! And then you drop the item. <gasps> the box hits the ground and falls open. I can't. Oh, no. And a thin sheet of paper flaps out of it. Just That's grab the paper and lift it out of the here, end of the room. Grab the paper! Get oh, the paper! It, does it land in front of me? Because I'm, I'm standing there. We gotta get it before the goat. Before away. the goat eats it. Get it lands in front of the goat. No, it doesn't. No! I'm like, I'm like, it's gonna land in front of the goat. All right, well, I'm gonna run and try. I'm and, gonna run at the paper, yeah, too. I think we're all running Is for that the like paper. a The goat defy... stares down at the paper <laughs> as you all charge towards it. No! Oh, God. Everybody roll me dexterity. I'm gonna rolls. throw my weapon. At the goat? I'm gonna throw my weapon at no, the goat. Oh, my God. You're so brutal. Nine. Let everybody try and grab it first. Okay. Yeah, that's a six. Seven. All right, y'all slam together, and Todd gets his hands on that paper. Oh, thank God, God, Todd. Picks it up. What, is, what Was Goat looking, like, pretty hungry about it? <laughs> yeah, he's looking a little hungry. I want to go, no. <laughs> goat, no. Snuff for you. Snuff for you. Oh, this, is, this is important paper. <laughs> this is not for you, Goat. So we're kind of goats. standing pretty close to the sarcophagus at this point. And, well, I, I grab the paper and you're walk, to the away, side of it. walk away from it. And again. you hear, as, I mean, you immediately start just, like, hoofing it away. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm taking it. And then you hear a booming, raspy voice Oh, say, now we did it. My most precious item has been stolen, and for this you will suffer my curse. 
No, the curse is that I beat you up. <laughs> and then the mummy walks out of his sarcophagus walks like a cool guy. Like and cool he guy. flexes. <laughs> And dust shoots out of his wrappings as his <laughs> muscles flare to three Come times on. their size. I feel like I'm gonna have a coughing attack. Oh, and man. then he honks out of his weird head thing. It really kills the mood. Um, <laughs> Everybody roll initiative. Uh, I just want to get out of here. We should we should leave. Yeah, that sounds when good. Can we crawl stolen, faster? I'd like to say borrowed. <laughs> okay, uh, that's what you want to say. Yeah. This is dexterity? Yeah. I got a four. Four? I got a nine. Nine. I got a seven. Seven. All righty. We are looking at Todd. You're going up first. Right. What do you want to do? Let's... How far away did I get <laughs> before <laughs> like, this all you're started? You're like about 20 feet away. You're like getting towards the end of the exit. Yeah. You're like right near the exit probably. Um. What are we thinking? Oh, jeez. Um, I'm going to turn around and be like, uh, I don't know how this works, but <laughs> is can I speak and still attack? Absolutely. I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna, you can talk I, for free. I just want to, like, I'm just going to shove the paper somewhere <laughs> so I'm not like going to lose it. Or something. I'm just going to, like, have an arrow ready. I'm going to be like, we just need it for a second. We just need it for a second. We just need it for a second. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to ju- Are you going to fire as well? No. Okay, you're no. not going to shoot. Yeah. Okay. We don't okay. need to start that right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, the mummy does not respond to you. Great. <laughs> Instead, <clears throat> I swallowed weird. It's a good thing I've got this water. Because otherwise I'm not going to be able to tell you what the mummy does. <laughs> I know. I'm, I, I kind of wish you couldn't at this point. What's Goat, what's goat doing? This is building suspense. This is building yeah. suspense. Did goat get crushed? <clears throat> no, the goat's fine. Oh. He is bleeding frantically Great. and kind of clacking his hooves around. He's psyched. He's getting pumped up. Great. Oh boy. Um, the mummy rushes at Dula, leaps into the air, wraps an arm around his neck. How big is he? Oh. Or no. attempts to. Uh-huh. He's like he's like eight feet tall. Yeah. After he got out of that sarcophagus, oh, he's a dang. big guy. Yeah. Wraps his arm around your neck and power bombs you into the ground. Oh no! You take what? Eight points of damage. Oh. Great. <laughs> we done goofed. Eight. Eight. You guys, we gotta get out of here. He then stands yeah. up and lifts up his arms and looks around mm. like he's saying, "What? What? What are you gonna do about it?" <laughs> Uh, I'm not trying to do anything about it. I just want to. And then he points at you paper. and says, "Give me back my collectible." I'm gonna. Can I do something? I'm gonna yeah. pull out paper. I'm gonna look at what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you're studying the paper, Tanya, it's your turn. We'll get um, back to that. I am not happy right now. <laughs> I am going to, so the paper fell out, but the box is still on the ground. The box is still on the ground. I Open. will pick up the box and it's like, we're so sorry. Here, have the box back. We're so sorry. Oh my gosh, it fell off. <laughs> Total accident. <laughs> Good try. Good try. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, if you want, you can make a parlay roll. <gasps> That's To right. actually try and convince him of something That's... or be like, hey, like, it's no hard feelings, hey. right? Buddy, I definitely want to do that. Go for it. That I is you add your charisma. Your charisma. I got okay charisma. I'm not a dingus. Um, That's pretty good. That is nine. Is That's nine? nine. Return it to the box, and you shall leave unharmed. Well, we already aren't leaving unharmed. I'm like, like, I'm armed already. <laughs> In the crater. <laughs> he glares down at you. Oh, boy. I'm already armed. <laughs> uh, do it. What's on the paper? The paper appears to be a baseball card. No, it's not. There's a little dinosaur man wearing, like, little baseball pants with the high socks. It's, it's like a really card. old one. And he's got a little baseball bat. It's like made out of a little log that he's holding there. Mm-hmm. He's up a bat. And the back of it says, uh, Sammy Sosaurus. 
rookie of the year. Oh, and he's boy. got really good batting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's. I feel I don't like need this. it's a rookie card, even. I don't need this. I we just just scared. Fire. No, I feel no, like I think that was something else. This wasn't the thing from the relief. Yeah, this I don't is. Think that... But I don't he think threw so. Threw a little box into the fire. Nondescript rectangular object on that bass relief. The card is also rectangular. I know. As well He's as not going to burn up a baseball card. Yeah. Is this? The, this is a different. The inscription at this the top. This is a different dinosaur. And the, at the I'm end, glad Dula remembered. The inscription at the top of the pyramid said, "Your most precious object, sacrifice it." And he just said, "Return That's my his. precious." <gasps> oh no! You were paying attention. <laughs> Yo, that's the I real the for no reason. Dula was paying attention the whole time. <laughs> that's the big surprise. Now, you're very scary. I have every intention of returning this to you. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> very nice. I'm very impressed. <clears throat> yes, great. Um, he I'm takes gonna, out I'm, a Slim Jim uh, and snaps into oh. it. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it back to you. Maybe we could borrow it. You know, we'll bring it back. So you're giving it back to him right now, or asking? I don't know. Him I'm gonna say. I'm telling him. We're, I'm gonna give it back to you. I have every intention. Okay. But I'm asking him to borrow it, like right now. Yes. It's a parlay. Maybe a parlay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, not gonna be good. That's a dang good parlay. Let's see what happens. Not oh. Good. Four. <laughs> Mark experience. Somebody gets to level up. <laughs> He's not having it. All right, Dula, gonna, it's your turn. He can have it back. I'm not you're gonna in a fight pit. With this guy. <laughs> I mean, not really a pit, but you're in a, a concave section of floor. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now, ladies, your neck hurts a lot. I'm just gonna. Um, I don't want to fight this guy. He just wants his baseball card back. Yeah. I yeah. have to fight him. <laughs> yeah, you do whatever you want. Hey, I don't like I'm not it. with that guy. <laughs> he just. He just threw me down. Yeah, what am I going to do? I mean, uh, I will, oh, I will die. You did it really good. What are you going to do? Die. Give him a noogie? <laughs> Purple nurple? No armor. I have no armor. No I have armor. 17 constitution. Um, pretty tough guy. Yeah. So I think... Is it on? I'm going to set him on fire <laughs> with my weapon. Go for it. I'm going to make an attack roll. Yeah, you had already activated slash. it, right? Yeah. I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Hack and slash. Do it up. Oh, boy. Oh, it's okay, though. Eight. 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 Okay. So you do open yourself up to attack. Yeah. Uh, you power you get it back into the ground. Uh, so he gets to make an attack back at you. He also hit you. No, no. Um, he's not power bombing you though, because that doesn't really work like that. Yeah. So instead, he's just gonna punch you in the head. Okay. You know, it's a lot better. Now. <laughs> sure. Um, so go ahead and roll your damage. All right. You only took one. It was a glancing blow. Woo. Dope. You dodged him this time, kinda. <laughs> only took one. Yeah. Dope. He takes seven. Great. <laughs> Um, also, he dealt one damage to me, which is odd damage. So, fighting fire with fire, I get to roll a d4, wherever that Oh, really? Be. Yeah. I get There's a bunch of them. They're triangles. They're there. Yeah. <laughs> roll it up. So, what, is this uh, extra damage? Yeah, either, so right. um, either I can do... <laughs> I can reduce the damage. So, he rolls a d4. Or I can summon forth my burning brand if it isn't activated. Oh, okay. Or I can add uses to it. Okay. So, uh... So what are you doing? I got a three. Um, <laughs> so what are you doing? I think I'll reduce the damage. <laughs> All right. So How much does any. it reduce it by? Uh, however many so I roll. Oh, okay. Yeah. By that, by that yeah. specific amount. Yeah. All right. By yeah. So you don't take any damage. When you take cool. odd damage, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. Um, okay. That's why I was like, wait a second, how much damage did I take last time? Yeah. yeah. It's eight. <clears throat> so you slash into him, and yeah. his dusty mummy body gets set on fire. Dope. Ooh. And you wonder yourself, is he just more dangerous now? <laughs> <laughs> was this his gimmick the whole time? Was he planning on lighting himself on fire anyway? He's acting like it. <laughs> <laughs> As he's Todd, like, as you're he's right. like gets set on fire and he's 
flexes. He's running in place and flexing, and flames are shooting off he's of his muscles. Oh boy! Yeah, he's, he's like, like sweating. <laughs> he's getting really amped up. All right, what is he? Uh, he just seems pretty concerned with this guy. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and. I'm just, oh, well, well, I'm just through the air. <laughs> oh no! He's on fire now. I guess he's on yeah. fire. Roll me a volley. Let's see what happens. Oh please, uh, six. Six. Yeah. All right. So a six means you miss. Great. <laughs> um, you mark down an ammo use yes. from that too. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> He uh, dodges out of the way of your arrow deftly before charging. I guess he doesn't have to charge back at Dula. He's like right there. He's right. still attacking me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're right there and you just set him on fire. Yeah, he's on fire. Like, he took damage, even though he doesn't seem to care that he's on fire. Yeah. Really. So uh, he's going to try and get his arms around your waist. Uh-huh. There. He's going to suplex me. He might be about to suplex you. <laughs> he's going to suplex me. You've watched enough pay-per-view to know what's yeah. about to happen to oh, you. Oh, yeah. boy. Okay. He got like a, a really high roll. Okay. <laughs> so you're getting suplexed. Okay. Oh boy. For uh, five damage. That's odd. That's <laughs> odd. So yeah, go for it. Oh, oh I only take one. For one damage. <laughs> <laughs> Burning brand. That's fantastic. That's really good. That's, that's a really, really good ability. Really <laughs> Until I, I roll another eight. I can't. I can't. I can't <laughs> if you, armor, if so. you do, I mean, yeah, I think that's the trade off. Yeah, that. I mean, yeah, the the no armor. You get no experience. <laughs> Oh, uh, Batania, you are up once again. Um, Seems like the fight's on. Clarifying question. Yes. Last time we fought mummies, did I forget magic missile? No, you used magic missile. Yeah, but did we I do it? for a day, but we rested. Does it come back after yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, I slept. Yeah. Awesome. Like that back, so. Okay, cool. In that case, I'm going to set up magic missile. Let's do it. Which means we lose light, but there's a dinosaur on fire. Yeah. <laughs> is everybody cool with that? Yeah, it uh, might be. Dula it might just make it harder for him. Well. Yeah. Okay. Duel has his weapon out as well. Okay, that's fine. So, well, that's just around them. Yeah. I don't need to, it seems to be a. You're good. Uh, that <laughs> is an eight. An eight. Yes. All right, that is successful. But you need to choose once again uh, whether you're going to warp the fabric of reality, uh, draw unwanted attention, or lose your spell. Draw unwarranted. Unwelcome attention. Yeah, okay. I, mean, we got, I feel like we got that. Well, except now you're drawing yeah, unwanted attention oh, from the big. That is a thing I did. But it could be interpreted many ways. You know what? That's a thing yeah. I would do. So <laughs> let's let's just do that. So drawing unwanted attention. Yeah. Okay. You know what? And that is seven, seven damage. Seven damage. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. You blow some mummy chunks off of him. Man, he seems so much more intimidating. Technical right? term: mummy chunks. Mm. <laughs> that's what comes off of mummies when you hit them. Uh, Burning mummy Dula. chunks. Mm -hmm. You get up from being suplexed. You feel pretty good considering you were just suplexed. Yeah. Um, get ready to rock. What are you doing? Give me one second. I just wanted to check something. Are you reading the book? He's reading the book. Yeah, I'm reading the book. I asked Way to kill the momentum. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> just hit him with your fire sword or get yeah, creative. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him with my fire sword again. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, I'd send my wolf over to help out, but uh, he's on fire, so not my wolf. That dinosaur thing. You don't want to burn your wolf. I don't want him to get burned. Yeah. Very protective of your wolf. I think we've had enough talks about firewolves to okay. <laughs> know that we don't want that. Or at least I don't. It's clear that two of us but want is, that. Is, goat, exactly, is goat safe? Goat's just hanging out watching the fight. <laughs> I got getting pumped. That That's goat. Cool. You got a nine? Yeah. Okay. Maybe, it's so like, he maybe this dinosaur yeah, guy's like the back. crow and, the, and he just stays alive forever as long as that goat's alive. Yep. So maybe we kill the goat. Maybe if we kill the goat. So hitting you again. We'll find this out. Time for four. Yeah. We'll see what Can't happens. Can't use your ability. Yeah. Yeah. This time you get a gut left. punch. He takes yeah. nine. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's real good. You slice off one of his arms. Yeah. Right. Does that have any sort of effect on the roll? bursts apart into fire and burned little bits of bandages. Right. Uh, Todd, you're up. Thing died? He's been disarmed. He's still oh, he's got an arm. Disarmed. Oh, he's missing an arm. All right, he has well, his other arm, though. Is Goat still just, like, shuffling around? All yeah. Side? Yeah. Goat seems pumped. He's having a great time. He's, like, running around the room in circles, just bleating up a storm. All right, I'm going to shoot at him again. Not not Goat. <laughs> well, I know, because you said mummy, again. Dino mummy. And I know you've never shot a Goat before. <laughs> yeah, so. I wouldn't do that. Cool. Ten. Great. Uh, roll your damage. <laughs> Great. Four. 
four damage. Yeah. Your arrow pierces his skull. Mm. Great. And a loud honk emits from the <laughs> back of his head. Goes as the arrow goes through the... <laughs> and echoes about the chamber as he falls into a pile Great. of burning ash. You guys, I did something. You did it! You did it! <laughs> What's going um, doing now? Uh, did you both mark, have you, were you marking experience for your missed rolls? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. And you didn't fail any rolls, did no, you? No, I didn't. Good for you. <laughs> no experience so, for you. No experience. The mummy has died. You still possess his baseball card. Awesome. The hey. goat wanders over to the pile of ash and begins to nuzzle through it. Oh, Come on, no. goat. Come on, goat. Mm-mm, you Let's don't go, wanna. Goat. I want to look through the, I want to look through the ash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go, yeah, let's through the ash. In the ash, you find a piece of golden jewelry Ooh. that you believe the mummy had been wearing. I take it. It is a circular gold medallion. Yeah, let's keep that. With a picture of a shark on it. Yeah, I take it. Oh, yeah, okay. we're going to need that. I take it. Yeah. Are I we going to have to fight yeah, three yeah, mummies? Does it, have it, something's there, going on. does it have a chain? You're going to have to fight all it's that not. stuff. Does, it's just kind of like wrapped up into his bandages. I'm going to go to stuff. the box that had a chain. I'm going to take the chain off that. Did that box I'm going to put it on this. No. And I'm going to wear that shark medallion. Yeah. Over my clothes, so everyone sees. It's a gold box, though, so it's dinged from hitting the ground. You're gonna wear it over your clothes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you're wearing a cool shark medallion on a chain. Maybe you should hide it. Cooler? Maybe. <laughs> you don't know yet. People who like sharks probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. They'll be into it. Yeah. Surfers will hate it though. Yeah. Oh boy. All right. Goats over it. Goats over it. Goat seems content that Dula has picked up this medallion. All right. <clears throat> cool. Let's goat. <laughs> God, you can beg on me for making a bad joke earlier. <laughs> Dang, you cast get out of town. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll cast late. So we can okay. see. You proceed back to the, uh, or you return. You don't proceed. So You've already proceeded our, plenty. So we crawl our You way return through. back to the pit. Begin to climb back up. Yep. Isn't there can a... Can we go down the other way? to do the whole... West chamber. Walk? Yeah, let's go down the other way and see what's down there. Yeah. Does anybody want to bring goat? Yeah. Well, goat's been just following us, right? Goat's just hanging out with you still. Yeah, yeah. let's bring Goat up, because well, we gotta go up. Yeah, well, we gotta go up. We can go down the other way. Yeah, but we gotta... Oh, can we... Is there another way? There, there is another path. path. Yeah. There's the uh, west path out of the... Uh, lower, on the lower level. Actually, we, before we do that, can we, can we go to sleep? <laughs> can oh, yeah, we, can we probably, make camp in the pit? Can we just sleep? Is oh, there, I'm sorry. Did someone get hurt? I don't think there's a rule. It just needs to... There's a chance that bad things might happen yeah. to you. <clears throat> you never know. I could cast alarm, and then we'll know if something sneaks up on us. You could. Yeah. Yeah. Do that, and then we camp. <laughs> well, that's so early. We... I mean, you can get out of here first. Yeah, let's I go can't. through the west thing first, and if there's any danger, we'll run away. Okay. Yeah, that's always. I mean, that was a, that was an option with Dino Man. I, al- I almost always... did that, but I would have felt bad leaving you guys behind. Exactly. <laughs> At least somebody feels bad about leaving the rest of the party yeah. behind. Mm-hmm. I have a healing potion. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I just from. have one. Then you just start with one. I start with one. Yeah. Is that real? <laughs> I'm gonna drink it. Okay. How much does it heal? A healing potion heals you. Oh somehow. come on, DM, Dank Master. <laughs> A healing potion heals yourself ten points of damage. Okay, that's good. That's really easy because I just had a one. I think that you. You go down this hallway. Had the same amount of health that I had. And after about. Before we rest. <laughs> 50 feet, you come to a dead end where it mm. seems that the hallway has collapsed and sunken in. Um, it's full of nasty green, like algae filled water. Ew. Um, I'm gonna drink some it seems water. to be a, uh, a dead end, unless you want to dive into the water and see if it goes somewhere. That sounds oh, it's awesome. deep water. It's deep enough, it looks like. And it just ends, and there's just yeah. like water. You guys want to dive down there? You want to dive down there? I want to dive down there. Yeah. I've got the shark medallion. I am a shark. Yeah. I'm going to dive down there. Is that, the, is that the running theory now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this gives you all the powers of a shark. Why don't you go yes. down None there the and I'll, I'll, yes. I'll just see what happens. So you don't get like upset when someone pokes your nose? Yes. <laughs> well, I, mean, sh- I still get upset, but that's just a duel. It's the only shark weakness that I know about. Shark weak. Yeah, why are you yes. away? <laughs> why are you moving away? Uh, well, I'm just more comfortable this way. You? Uh, you dive under the water. You cannot see as the water is filled with nasty algae. You can take my staff if you want. Have any, anything else you want to do now that you're in the water and can't see? Um, I feel like your character wouldn't like the water very much. Yeah, I didn't think so. But he's a, a lizard man. Medallion. He is a lizard man. Yeah. Shark medallion. What about it? Um, makes me a shark. Makes me obviously. 
So are you gonna, are you gonna try and do something with it? Or no, I'm just gonna swim around. I'm gonna swim around. Swim around in this disgusting algae-filled water for a while, not able to see. Yes. Cool. cool. You watch Dula Wula Fula swim around in gross algae-filled water for a while. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Seems like he doesn't really know where he's going, and uh, after a couple minutes, he pokes his head back up, <laughs> and uh, and he says. I'm a shark. And here we all are. <laughs> Do you want to borrow my staff so you can see? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Bring it back. Okay. I guess magical fire would work fine underwater. I don't... Magical fire? Yeah. yeah probably. It's not real fire. Yeah. As long as it doesn't go too far out of my presence, we're probably yeah. cool. Yeah. So okay. I'm going to dive back under. I'm okay. Gonna, with the staff now. You see a small passage through the rocks. I'm going to go through with it. With the light. You go through it? I'm a shark. You go through it, the staff goes out. <laughs> Ah. Now you're in the dark underwater. Oh no. I, I turn around and go back the way I came. How do you know which way you came? Oh you can't no. See you're in the water. It's dark. You've lost your sense of direction. Uh, Shoot. I choose a passage. I go that way. Make me a, wiz a defy danger wisdom to not get stuck underwater drowning. We killed Dula. I got he killed uh, himself. A 12. So wise. <laughs> Wow. Oh. So much wise. So wise. <laughs> Thank God. You, yeah, you that went your way back to where you came from. Oh. You pop your head up and you're like, staff didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Give the staff back. All right. I guess we're going back the way we came. Let's go back or the way I we came. Or I could cast light and try to swim. Yeah. It would be very scary. I mean, you don't have the shark medallion, so you don't turn into a shark. That's true, can. but we don't know that you turn into a yeah, shark. Yeah, it didn't seem like you turned into a shark. You didn't turn into a but great I shark. Swimming. I felt like a shark. But when we saw you swimming, you didn't look like a Psychosomatic. Shark. Psychosomatic. I think you guys like the placebo you effect. You guys saw me before I got the medallion. Because you're going to make, if so you're going to make don't... a bunch of magic medallions for people, you don't want the people who don't get well, magic know, medallions to feel bad. We know. So you make like regular medallions and just give everyone a medallion, but yeah. only like two or three of them. It's a participation yeah. medallion. But mine, yeah. however, is real. And I did turn into a shark when I got out of the water. You I, didn't see it. I cast Detect Magic to see if it's actually yeah, magic. Some sort of great magic clearly, that's a good thought. Yeah. Clearly it's, a magic. That is an eight plus. That's an eight. That medallion is blindingly magical. Okay. It's a, I'm a shark. There we go. Water. It's super magic. <laughs> um, he's a shark when he's. Do you want to lose? I want to rip the fabric rip. of reality. <laughs> and rip that's it. a minus one anytime I try to do that again. Okay. You 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 hear some stitches of reality rip. It's like, oh no. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. Whoops. That was, such, that was such a bad thing. <laughs> Those pants are too small. I don't know. <laughs> okay, how about uh, we just go back? Just go back. Okay. Yeah. Not gonna we we know we have to, to destroy to this. To lug the, the wolf and the goat and all the other animals who are probably right. going to come eventually <laughs> back up the pit with you. Um, the wolf, the goat, the shark. Salamander. You return to the surface, the mm -hmm. um, or the uh, top of the pit, I guess. You're still mm -hmm. in the in the lower levels of the ziggurat here. Mm -hmm. um, would you like to make a camp in here, or would you like to go back out into the jungle and make a camp, like by the foot of the ziggurat? Let's make camp by the foot of the ziggurat. I don't like being in this place. Why don't we make, can we make camp at the top of the ziggurat? Yeah, yeah let's make camp at the top that. of the ziggurat. We okay. could also then put the baseball card in the thing no, in the morning. No, we can't, because he's put the flame out. I'd have to well, that, yeah. we could flame on, and that flame seems on. easy yeah. enough. Still got Fine. My sword. But uh, let's camp first. Well, yes. And then when we wake up, first thing. Explore second. Okay. First thing. All right. So you all walk back up to the top of the ziggurat. Um, got some 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 exciting things ready mm -hmm. for you next time we play. Since it's about time for us to wrap up. Cool. Okay. That actually worked out very nicely. Yeah, it did. Um, so you all make a camp You're once welcome. again. Um, restore half of your maximum hit points <laughs> once again. And anybody who has seven or more experience points can turn those in to level up. Uh, was fighting that giant mummy significant enough to give experience? Yes. Okay. Everybody gets an experience point for that. Cool. And you also get an experience point for finding a significant treasure. Oh. I won't tell you exactly which treasure is the most significant, but you certainly found some. <laughs> Is the goat still with us? The goat is still with you. Awesome! <laughs> goat is with us. Goat, goat is his name. Goat man, cool guy. Can I cast alarm and then we can go to sleep? Um, you can cast alarm and you can go to sleep. And awesome. I will say, as the final little cliffhanger, Ooh. the goat is staring to the northwest. Unflinchingly. His gaze is set in that direction. Great. Fade to black. Oh. Fade to black. <laughs> Then there's just a bleep, and it says Finn. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching the second episode of Dank Dungeons here on either NCTV or YouTube. And tune in next time when 
more goat-related event adventures will probably happen. Hmm.